In today's video, we are exploring the old Owen Sound Jail by invitation from its new owner, FC Entertainment and Hospitality Incorporated. The buildings consist of the courthouse, constructed in 1853 to 1854, a jail which was built in 1854, as well as additional prison wings built in 1869, and a third floor was also added in 1877. In 1868, a courthouse addition was added, and in 1869, they built the high jail yard walls. Finally, in 1889, they added the governor's residence, which would later serve as a women's jail. In 1960, the city of Owen Sound purchased the courthouse from the province, and then in 2013, they purchased the jail portion as well. The jail and courthouse closed for good in December 2011 and had seen use as office space and an artist studio. The city has tried several times to sell the properties since declaring them surplus in 2014. In 2015, there were plans to convert the space into a long-term care home or another proposal for an art gallery. Both parties backed out as the facility did not suit their needs. Finally, in May of 2022, a sale was finalized that saw purchase the property for $50,000 with plans to convert the courthouse, jailhouse, and governor's residence into an event venue, dining, and entertainment complex, including an interactive museum and shared workspace. The proposal by FC Entertainment and Hospitality. It includes a wedding venue, dining and entertainment complex with a shared workspace area. The redeveloped site would also include an interactive museum. The agreement of purchase and sale includes a multi-step buyback clause to allow the city of Owen Sound to reacquire the property if certain development milestones are not met over time. Notably, it proposes the developer have a building permit and commence construction within two years. In October of 2023, the plans for the site passed a huge milestone as the city approved the rezoning of the site from institutional to arterial commercial in the official plan and mixed used commercial in the zoning bylaw. The new owner's plans for the property are to retain its heritage features while enhancing and rejuvenating it. The development plans include a glass-enclosed roofed pavilion in one side of the former jail yard and groomed gardens in the other. There will be a restaurant and tea room in the former governor's residence, a glass connection between the residence and courthouse, a cocktail bar and themed speakeasy bar using the old cells in the former jail, an outdoor courtyard, bridal suites, and an event venue in the prestigious and iconic courtroom. The business center on site will offer business incubation, co-working spaces, and rental office suites. A front portico, like the one that originally graced the front of the building, will be restored. With the rezoning now taken care of, the task at hand is to establish an overall site plan. Once site plan work is finished and approvals are received, they will be applying for a building permit and construction will start within a year. 